Welcome. I'm Dr. Dean Shear. We're doing a little uh, review over chapter 16 in your lab manual. Anatomy of the skull. Just excuse moving around a little bit. As we can see, I'm going to go through, it will be slightly out of order than your lab manual, but I'm going to cover a lot of structures. Frontal bone, this is frontal bone, parietal bone on both sides, occipital bone, temporal bone, Sutures of a coronal suture going in the coronal plane, coronal suture of a sagittal suture within the sagittal plane of a squamosal suture. This is basically going meaning squamous is thin and flat going over the squamosal portion of the temporal bone and lambdoidal suture going over this occipital bone it creates with the sagittal suture the letter lambda other features to note Orbits of the eye, little foramen, supraorbital foramen, infraorbital foramen, and mental foramen. External auditory meatus zygomatic arch remember the zygomatic arch is comprised of your zygomatic process and temporal process of our temporal and zygomatic bones we can see here the mandible the body of the mandible the angle the ramus structure right here, coronoid process, right over here we have you can see right here articulating mandibular condyles and the mandibular process. In the temporal bone, as you can see, there's a styloid process. This happens to be the mastoid portion with the mastoid process right here. And of course you can see the frame and magnum. condyles of the occipital bone, mandibular foramen, coine. Right here, we see if I get the lighting. You see the vulmer, the midline. over here this is where your sphenoidal and the sphenoid bone let me get the angle right so you can see
the lamina of the pterygoid process with lamina this lamina of the sphenoid with the medial and lateral pterygoid processes inside you can see the nasal septum at the inferior inside here this is your vomer right on top of this you can see perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone inferior nasal concha middle and superior we can't quite see superior very well nasal concha this is going to be this the uh, middle and superior nasal concha is on the ethmoid bone nasal bones right here is your lacrimal bone with lacrimal groove sometimes referred to as lacrimal sulcus let me tip the skull up a little bit so you can see and you can actually see lacrimal canal Going to open up the skull. And also, just to note, when they talk about cranial bones, facial bones, the cranial bones reference these bones frontal bone, left and right parietal bones left and right temporal bones, occipital bone, sphenoid bone, and ethmoid bone, which creates the brain case. Facial bones are the rest of the bones of the skull. We're going to look at the inside of the skull anteriors towards the top this is the frontal bone and towards the back occipital bone you can see the frame and magnum here's the frontal bone now notice the cranial bones here creates a tiered shelf kind of a stair step this is the posterior cranial fossa. This is the middle cranial fossa. And of course, we have our anterior cranial fossa. This is where the brain resides. Back here, basically, would be the cerebellum, here, the temporal lobe, and the frontal lobe respectively. The frontal bone articulates with the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. Also the frontal bone has a ethmoidal notch and we can see that the ethmoid bone right here is fused into place and you can actually see, let me get the focus, Christogalli let me get an angle so you can see a little better. There's the Christogalli. This is a strong anchoring point 